what all what all are we considering Europe for this conversation? Um, I mean, I know I that's I, kind of an ignorant I, question because Europe is obviously a con- uh, continent as a whole. But like, what I've been hearing is that he's just dominating Europe. And okay. I, I hear just a lot of uh, like. Buzzers is the best uh, in the UK. That's Europe, right? Yes. Yeah, that's considered Europe. That, that's that's why I was asking. Yeah. Buzzy, you got the obvious Armada holding it down. Uh huh. Well, I mean, like Armada's um, retired from singles. You know, technically he's retired from singles. Whoa, whoa. And so that's why I've been hearing a lot of the European players that I talk to saying that ice is kind of rising up in Armada's absence. Makes sense. Yeah. We should feel kind of bad because we were just looking at thumbs way up. We we're should, those we should ki- feel a little bad. We're those kind of people. Short-term memories. All right, they're going right into it. Okay, so uh, Thumbs is the Falco player, right? Or yes. Falcon, Falcon, sorry. Yes. Falcon, yes. And this this is a matchup that I don't want to flat out say is bad because it comes player to player, but it is very frustrating for a Falcon because mm-hmm. low percents just revolve around not getting grabbed. You get grabbed, you get put in this horrible tech chase situation that everybody knows. Here we go. You if get you look at the frame data, it is, it's so bad for Falcon. It's it's like unfair. The Sheik, if they've been practicing this for like, you know, a straight day, they practice uh, tech chasing Falcon for a straight day, they're going to get it every single time. It's just such a huge advantage for her. So you mean I can beat those way up if I just did this for a day? <laughs> if, I could, if I could grab him? Because that is the key. You do got to get the grab. You do have to get the grab. And I like the Nair from uh, from Ice. He's closing out the escape, setting up that quick kill. Already up 2-0 before we hit the first minute. That's like a, on the flip side, Falcon wants the grab too. That's one of his stronger strongest combo starters. Yep. Taking a little salt in the eye. He's okay. I don't like him diving too far in on the ledge, especially when he's already two stocks down. I wish he played a little more position, but it's okay. Looking for another grab, getting punished for it. Doing a lot of hop off, ooh. A lot of hop off back airs, a lot of off stage shenanigans trying to bait Thumbs way up in there. Making great use of ledge culture in everything by the, by the edge, by the ledge, by that dangerous part of the stage that is very specific to this game, very <laughs> unique to this game. And uh, we might be on our way to a four stock. I don't think it's going to happen. Possibly a J3, JV3 or JV4, excuse me. But Ooh, there it is. There you go. JV4 on deck. See if we can make it happen. Good jab. Just keeping in check. But we got the grab. Just looking for any solid hit we can get. But... Any like little nickel and dime is looking very strong for Ice right now because three stock lead, solid hit to get thumbs off stage or a grab into a back throw. This is very bad because he can just keep this up for a while. And well, what is Falcon really going to do? He has he has to fight back through this. There's not a whole lot he can do on his recovery like so. He's yet to hit solid ground from the first back throw. And one of the reasons why that matchup is extremely frustrating. For extremely frustrating. If he had another character, I'd tell him to go to it. Because <laughs> three stock is a very decisive win in my eyes. Yeah, I mean, he's a solid Falcon, too. Yeah, like he's, no, he's no slouch. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, Ice. You're not slick. Game two. Final destination. Falcon's playground, as some people like to call it. No platforms get in the way of his combos. Alright, but Ice is really controlling uh, controlling the match right now, controlling the stage area. He's doing a good job making sure that as long as he has the offensive momentum, which he kept the entire time, he was staying in his face so that he never had a chance to run out and reset the pressure. He never backed out. He didn't really look for needles until he was gone so he could set up the pressure again. And that up smash actually gave Thumbs Way, out a cha- uh, Thumbs Way up a chance to get out, but he ran back in. All right, very good dash dance into a grab right there. Can capitalize off it, rather doesn't capitalize off of it. Mm. Really nice. I like how he delays his 
his second jump. A lot of Sheiks will just go down there and they'll wait for, uh, they'll hang on the ledge and then wait for the Falcon to get close, then do the double jump back air. Uh huh. But I says, I, I'm just going to go down there and save my double jump for later. You're not going to see it coming. As long as he's got a good reaction, there's nothing that uh, Thumbs can really do from that position. Switching from Zelda just to try to make the recovery. And I don't really like this. Okay. Oh. This is the only scenario where I like this, is if they're willing to play Zelda. Because if not, <laughs> you just give up your invincibility. And it's kind of sad that he did opt to use one of the worst moves ever in competitive gaming. Because I want <laughs> yeah. you to tell me another move that automatically makes you three tiers worse. You can't. No, you can't. Ask any Sheik player, what is Sheik's worst move? Down B. Yep. Every time. We might have to fix our faces because he's, uh, he's getting a stock out of this. Well, the thing is, like, Zelda's gameplay is solely focused around, I'm going to stay where I am, and if you want to come at me, that's fine because I've got a lot of tools to keep you up. I've got my forward air and I've got my forward smash, uh, some grabs, up smash. So he's got some, you know, okay hitboxes. I'm mad that he's putting in work in Zelda now. He, just, he got sick and tired of playing, like, top four. <laughs> so... <laughs> Drop down to somewhere in the 15s and 20s and close this out. That up smash. Yeah. Dense fire, almost useless. <laughs> Here we go. It's gonna sweet spot that ledge and. I think that's the only move he really likes. I think that's yeah. the only move he knows, back air and up smash. And up I guess up B. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, who knows this matchup? Like, she has a few good things she can do. And if someone doesn't know the matchup, they're going to fall for that quite a few times before they get used to it. I want to see an up tilt out of ice. I haven't seen that move in a couple years. I call it the wonderful world of Disney because it looks like the fireworks that go over the logos <laughs> of their old movies. I'm slightly upset that this is still a thing, but <laughs> yeah. big ups to Ice for uh, for making it work. Wow. Wow. Oh! Scumbag. That down air. Put the heels on him to close it out. 